This is a crystal earphone that I was working on. I've got another video on it, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about how I did it. But I put a piezoelectric element on this side, and during that video, I mentioned that I might try using a larger, this is a 27 millimeter and this is a 20 millimeter uh, element, and I might try putting the bigger one over on this side. I've already got it underway. I've got this side opened up, and what I'm going to do is I put another set of wires in here. I've got a second set down here, and uh, I'm just going to, there's already a wire that runs over here, so I'm just going to solder these two together on this side. And then when I get over this side, I'll show a little bit more detail because uh, this is rather trivial. This is just connecting this, uh, this wire, the new wire that's incoming, the pair, to the pair that's already there that goes all the way around. And then, of course, I'll solder the element on this side, close it up, and we'll test it and see if it works. So what I've done is I've got one set of wires running this way, and it goes to the, this side. And then the other one I've got here, and I've got it soldered to this white wire that goes up. And uh, the next thing is I'm going to, off camera, stuff all this inside here and then return this piece. And then we'll go to work on the other side. Well, I've got the other side open. And as you can see right in here, the wire comes in here. So the plan is just to desolder it from the speaker, which is magnetic, and to substitute this. I think I'm going to try gluing it directly to the uh, this plastic piece and see how that works out. Uh, yeah, it's a little trickier because if I ever remove this, I'm going to have to be very careful to keep from breaking the wires when this plastic part pops off, but frankly, I don't ever plan on removing it. So, um, yeah, it'll be a one-time shot, but let me get this out of there and then we shall uh, take the next step. I will unsolder this. I'll solder the wires onto here. Then we'll glue it in there and I'll show you all that. And that will be it for this step. So here I've got the wire soldered onto the piezoelectric emitter. And this is the side where it'll go in. I've got my cutter here because this thing wants to flip over. And this plastic piece just has a ring right here that's exactly the perfect size for this. So I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to use my super glue. Then I'm going to snap it back in place and that's pretty much it. Well, here we are back again, and I've got this soldered and glued in place. And you may say, why don't you do that on camera and show us? Because, well, simply put, last time I did this, I glued my finger to the piezoelectric element and left skin on it. So, <laughs> yeah, those things are better left off camera. But the other reason is because most of the time I got my hand in the way and you can't see what I'm doing anyway. So here I've got the piezo element in place and I just ran a bead of super glue around the outside of it. You could use epoxy, anything that'll hold it firmly in place. And now we snap this thing back in position and we go test it. I have this, uh, these microphones, this is left and right microphone, and I have them about as close to equal distance from the emitters as possible. And I thought we would run through our sine wave over here to the different frequencies. So we'll start out at 1 kilohertz. There's 2 kilohertz. 3 kilohertz. 4 kilohertz. Kind of obnoxious. 5 kilohertz. 6 kilohertz. And if you're listening in stereo, you should be able to tell which one is louder. I'll be quiet here. There's 12, 13, 14. They won't go up this range, really. So um, from my testing, putting them on my head and listening, the, uh, the new one, the big one, is louder and is better with the lower pitches. And the, the original one, which is uh, yeah, the smaller one. So the new one is uh, 27 millimeters. The older one is 20 millimeters. The 20 millimeters is the one that's better with the high pitches, but it's also quieter. The, uh, the bigger one, the 27, is just more comfortable to listen to. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is uh, part two of modifying our uh, headset to be a crystal headset. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your crystal radio use.